Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. IVP Intravenous Pyelogram Introduction Many different medical problems can affect the health of your kidneys and urinary tract. An intravenous pyelogram, or IVP, is a kidney and bladder x-ray. This is a test that helps your healthcare providers look at your kidneys and bladder. If your healthcare provider recommends an IVP, the decision whether or not to have this procedure is also yours. This program will help you understand better the benefits and risks of this procedure. Anatomy Humans normally have two kidneys. The kidney's main function is to filter the blood and make urine. The urine travels from the kidneys to the bladder through specialized ducts called ureters. The urine is then stored in the bladder. When the bladder gets full, the urine leaves the body through the urethra. Symptoms and their causes Many diseases can affect the urinary systems, kidney or bladder. These include Tumors Kidney stones Problems urinating Kidney, ureter, or bladder malformations An IVP helps your healthcare provider diagnose conditions that affect your urinary system, kidneys, or bladder. You may need to avoid eating and drinking for several hours before an IVP. You may also need to take a laxative the evening before the exam. Your healthcare team will give you specific instructions. Make sure to understand and follow them. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Procedure an IVP is an outpatient procedure. This means that you should be able to go home at the end of the test. During IVP, iodine dye is injected into a vein in your arm. From there, the dye passes into the kidneys. Some patients experience a feeling of warmth and a metallic taste in the mouth when the dye is injected. These signs are normal and harmless. They disappear within a minute or two. The kidneys pick up the dye and mix it with urine. The urine then passes through the ureters into the bladder. From the bladder, the dye is discharged out of the body through the urethra. X-rays are then taken of the kidney and bladder area to determine if and how fast both kidneys are working. This IVP also shows the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder. Many x-rays will need to be done because the dye passes through different people at different speeds. The x-rays have to be checked by your radiologist continuously. The IVP procedure usually takes about an hour, but it is different for everyone. It depends on how well your kidneys function and how quickly the dye passes through your body. In some very slow kidneys, an IVP can take up to four hours. You will be asked to urinate. Further x-rays will be done to show how well your bladder empties. The IVP test is not painful. Risks and complications The IVP procedure is safe, but there are several possible risks and complications. These are unlikely, but they are possible. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being informed, you may be able to help your healthcare provider detect complications early. X-rays are used during this procedure. The amount of radiation during this test is safe, but this same amount could be dangerous for unborn babies. If you are a woman, it is important to make sure you are not pregnant before an elective radiological test. Some people have allergies to the iodine dye used in this test. Make sure to tell your healthcare provider about all of your allergies and if you have had reactions to any sort of dye in the past. During the IVP, 
signs of an allergic reaction include itching and hives. In very rare cases, an allergic reaction can cause shortness of breath and swelling in the face, throat, or other parts of the body. These are signs of a dangerous allergic reaction. You should tell your healthcare providers immediately if you feel short of breath, as they are prepared to treat such serious allergies. In some people, the dye used during IVP can cause kidney failure, but this is rare. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary an intravenous pyelogram, or IVP, is a kidney and bladder x-ray. An IVP helps your healthcare provider diagnose conditions that affect your urinary system, kidneys, or bladder. An IVP can help diagnose tumors, kidney stones, problems urinating, kidney, ureter, or bladder malformations. During IVP, iodine dye is injected into a vein in your arm. From there, the dye passes into the kidneys. The kidneys pick up the dye and mix it with urine. The urine then passes through the ureters into the bladder. From the bladder, the dye is discharged out of the body through the urethra. X-rays are then taken of the kidney and bladder area to determine if and how fast both kidneys are working. The IVP procedure usually takes about an hour, but it is different for everyone. It depends on how well your kidneys function and how quickly the dye passes through your body. The IVP procedure is safe, but there are several possible risks and complications. These are unlikely, but they are possible. You need to know about them just in case they happen. By being informed, you may be able to help your healthcare provider detect complications early. Thank you for using Explain.